wondered if day trading is for you. You may be out there thinking about day trading or maybe you're day trading right now and you're still not 100% certain if really day trading is for you. My name is Melissa Armo and I own Stock Swoosh and I teach my system and method how to day trade gaps. And you could use gap trading for day trades or swing trades or long-term trades, but I find the interesting thing about day trading is that there are so many people out there that are actively day trading and they don't even really know if day trading is for them and they don't put forth 100% effort into it. First things first, is day trading for you? It's not for everyone. Why? Because it takes a certain level of commitment. That commitment may be financial. That commitment may be time, time that you need to spend taking a course, learning. That commitment may be a certain period of time that you need to trade during the week, Monday through Friday. And also the commitment really that you're making if you decide that you want to day trade is to yourself, that you want to take time out of your life that this is a goal, that you want to make money in the U.S. stock market, and you're going to do it, and you're not going to stop until you become successful. And you are going to make the commitment, and you are going to do everything that you need to do to be successful. And I'm telling you that not everybody out there wants to do that. People act like they're interested in making money in the market. People say that they want to make money in the market. People trade and do day trade and risk money in the market every day. Ultimately, they lose. Some days they win, some days they lose, but ultimately they're losing by the end of the year. And what is the reason for that? Because they're not 100% committed. They're not willing to do everything it takes to succeed. And what it takes to succeed really is a level of commitment. But the level of commitment really is in your mind. So we were talking about this the other day in the training room. It has to do with intention. And that's a whole different subject that I can lecture on at some point more in depth in the future, but in reference to the commitment part of it, when your intention is to do something to succeed, that really comes across. It comes across in your results. And again, it isn't something that has to take weeks and months and days and years or a lot of money, but it might for you. If your intention, if your commitment level is not spot on, is not pure, is not there, then how do you expect to succeed? What I find very interesting about the people that day trade actively, and most people that day trade actively, is that a lot of them just kind of dip their toe in the water. They're half-assing it. That's the best way that I can use to describe it. They, they really are not 100% committed. They really don't want to spend the money to risk in trades, but they want to make a lot. They want to trade cheap, stupid stocks or penny stocks. Uh, which you can't consistently make a good amount of money in, why they're not traded by institutions. People want to just follow people's trades and trading rooms, do trials here and there, go to free webinars, watch lots of videos, read books, and not really, not really throw themselves into a strategy or system with the level of commitment that it is required to be successful. Really learning something, really grabbing hold of it, really getting the confidence and conviction in the market and in whatever system they decide to trade. Now, for me, one of the very one one thing that came so became so clear to me when I first started out was that I had to have a specific focus to to what I was doing in the market, and I happened to like gaps because the moves happened very quickly and the moves were big. So I liked the big moves and gaps, and I liked the speed of the execution in the moves and the gaps when I found a good one. So I developed my own system to find what I call the good ones, the good golden gap every day that rates high. Either way, whatever system, if you decide you want to come and learn my system, great. You can reach out to me for more information on classes. If you want to learn some other system, fine too. But the point is that if you are not committed to doing this, you're not going to do well. And I'm telling you, most people are not. It's very, very easy when I talk to people to understand why they're not successful. Like, for example, when I talk to people and they're interested in the class, so they call me or email me and they're, they're, they just can't make up their mind. They're just not sure. They just don't know. They're just not certain. They're, they're on the fence. They're, you know, most people really can be successful if they put their mind to it. It's, it's that one piece that you are 100% in control of. You can decide that you want to be successful in something. You may not be able to plan and say and demand from the universe that right now you're going to be successful in this right now, this second, today, or tomorrow at 6 a.m. or whatever. But you can 
put out into the universe and manifest your own success by doing whatever is required and everything that's required in order to get there. And you'll find very often that it's not as much as you think. And that we as human beings, as people that are on the planet uh, who, who have high lofty goals, ideals, uh, dreams, okay, because for, for a lot of people, day, day trading is a dream. People often put big aspirations outside of their reach, like outside away from themselves, like it's something that they can never, never achieve. As soon as you're willing to get over that hump and realize that this is something that you can achieve, if in fact you want to, and you're willing to do everything required as necessary, then the only person that's stopping you from doing it and being successful and making money in the market and being a day trader and being a successful one is you. You're the only person that's stopping yourself from being successful. If someone said to you, I'm just going to throw this scenario out there and I'm making a, I'm making this point here. So I'm going to try to make this point. So I'm going to make it a big example here and say, if someone said to you, or your fairy godmother came up and said to you, in five years from now, you're going to make a million dollars in the stock market day trading. Would you do every single thing your fairy godmother told you to do? from today until that five-year point. You probably would. I wouldn't know why you wouldn't. Chances are you would. But because there is no fairy godmother for you, because there isn't someone say, do this, 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 and on such and such a date and time, you're going to have a million dollars or this much money or whatever, people don't, don't proceed with the level of commitment that's required to be successful. If you move forward, if you move ahead, and if you understand that by thinking this way, by having a pure intention, by keeping the goal at hand, by doing everything that's required and everything that it takes, the mental work, the time, the financial investment, all of it, by putting yourself out there and determining and deciding and, and saying, this, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do everything it takes to be successful. I will make it. By even doing that, you're putting yourself head and shoulders above most people because a lot of people out there are actively trading, risking money in the market every day and losing and don't even believe that they can be successful. And really trading is probably not for them. I think a lot of people will always trade the market and think and have the mentality of being a loser, which is one of the reasons why the people that do well and the people that have a good system like me and the people that make a lot of money make so much because of the fact that there are so many people that have a negative attitude or low confidence level or don't know what they're doing or don't have the right focus and simply just are not cut out for day trading. I'm telling you that if this is something that you really want to do, if this is your goal, if this is your dream, you can do it. You've got to have the right attitude. In fact, it's just as important to have it as having a good strategy. You won't be successful without a good strategy, but you also won't be successful without a good attitude. And part of that is believing that you can do it. If you are day trading and risking money in the market and you are not committed to doing everything that's required to be successful, chances are you're not going to make it. And that doesn't mean that it's impossible. It doesn't mean that it's hard. It just means that so many people want to do this thing and so many people want the money, the profits that come from the market. So many people want this advantage to be able to day trade successfully. So many people want the money in specific stocks, whatever, buying, selling. So many people are going after the same thing that in order to give yourself an edge, in order to be set apart, in order to be that small part of the percentage of people that make it and make a lot, you have to have the attitude that you're going to win and you have to be committed to doing it. And you'll find that very often the commitment level, it takes less time and money than you think and you will see success faster if you just get on board with this idea. And again, like I said earlier, Day trading isn't for everyone. It's not for people that are wishy-washy. It's really not for people who are not committed. One of the best decisions I ever made for, for, for the business, for the stock swoosh, and for uh, my students, for people who come to me and I mentor, is that I require people to do my class and learn my system before they join the line trading room. That is enormously beneficial to individual students, and it has helped the business grows stronger by creating real people, individuals, to becoming strong traders and strong in reading gaps and the chart reading. And that has enabled people to go off on their own. People don't need me. They can trade on their own. They don't need to be in the trading room with me, but they know what they're doing. And that really says a lot. And it says a lot about my own level of commitment to wanting people to learn and wanting people to do well and wanting people to mirror uh, the success that I've found by trading gaps. 
So if you have any questions, if you're interested in more information about my course, feel free to email me at melissa at and have a great day, everyone.